The clouds parted over the hidden land. This... This is the hidden land? We finally made it here. Please, look ahead. Hey, what's that? Is that... Is that perhaps... Yes. It's Temporal Tower. That's where Dialga is. That's where we have to go. The Time Gears have to be taken there. But... If we take... If you take a close look... That place seems to be floating in the sky. I wonder how we're supposed to get there. You must take the Rainbow Stone Ship. The Rainbow... Stone Ship? Yes. Far ahead, you will find the old ruins. There you will find an ancient mystical vessel. The Rainbow Stone Ship. It will take you to Temporal Tower. Thank you, Lapras! This is the extent of what I can do for you. From here, you're on your own. Good luck on reaching Temporal Tower. Okay. Grovile, you! We don't have far to go now. Let's keep it up. We have to go to Temporal Tower and set the time gears there. That will put a stop to the destruction of time. We don't have far to go, you. First, we need to reach the Rainbow Stone Ship. He has something he needs to tell us. I wish I could talk to Forrest, because why not? Hi, you? Are you ready? Yes. Yes, looks like we're ready. Okay, let's go. Hidden land. First floor. Yep, we're we're encountering some serious stuff. And the recommended level for this area is indeed 37. We're actually fighting a bunch of dangerous Pokemon. Ow, not Sandtomb. Thankfully, we're getting plenty of experience here. Oh no, it's Hail. Hale's going to start picking up damage. But I think everything on this floor will will take damage, aside from the Pokemon that basically caused the hail to start. Another Giga Drain TM. It's weird. The TMs that I find are often the only ones I ever find. Like, there's no variation. Aside from the odd once or twice. Like, it's mostly been, what, Giga Drain and, uh, one other. I think Water Pulse. Yeah, as I go through, I'll want to take out as many Pokemon as possible. For the sake of leveling up. And it doesn't help that dragons are resistant to... Uh, our, our good grass-type moves. So basically, I'm the one who has to do the uh, lion's share of the work. Okay, last seed, gotcha. That can be useful. Power band. Bastiodon, dead. I do wish there were items plus, so that then you could, you know, get progressively more powerful items. That worked out. Ah. Uh, oh wait, that was all food went bad, wasn't it? 
Okay, I have grimy food. Yeah, the thing I was going to do was this. Maximum belly size increase, so that then I don't have to stop as much for things. Oh. That wasn't great. That was an item box. I don't like the, uh... Items turn into Pokemon ones. It causes trouble. I mean, you can use it by, if you find one, by using the trap checking trick. To, uh, essentially make a monster room. But you'd have to place down a bunch of items. And normally you only bring items with you to, uh, make the exploration a lot easier. Extra max elixir never hurt anyone. Oh, thank goodness the escape is right here. Any of the damage based weather effects I dislike. Also, with how much experience we're getting, we should be good if we uh, just fight everything we find. Like, we should be able to level up with very little difficulty. Yeah, I need 10,000. Forest needs 10,000. I need slightly less than Forest. And I think that's because of when I use the Joy Seed. Sorry. Uh, trying to take sips of my drink whenever I can, just so that then... Uh, I don't have to try and find a point in between text boxes. Okay, items. I will eat it. Yep, that's that's what happens if you eat grimy food. Now, what do gaggle specs do? Enhances vision. Unknown. <laughs> A held item that makes the Pokemon stand out, making it easier to be hit by enemies. Okay, there might be a thing for that, but I'm not exactly sure. So, what I'm referring to is, sometimes when throwing items to Pokemon, the uh, Pokemon you're throwing the item to will either equip it or uh, something else. Usually if they catch it, it's just nothing happens. Uh, but you know what? I'll just, I'll just leave them. That, I believe, is the last brick break from me. Yes. Oh, come on. Ah. This is why I'm okay with Poison Jab. Okay, we got lots of items in here. Whoops. Wrong move. Wrong move. Okay, items. Quickly do that. And let's set that. Just use that because that... So transfer orbs can sometimes be good. Most of the time they won't. Sorry about that. I try my best to you know, get as far away from the mic as possible. Because my ability to mute the mic is hit or miss when it comes to uh, me sneezing. Our band Iron Thorns. Oh, 
All right, then. What is that? Stun seed. Not too bad of an item. We'll just keep going, though. Oh, that was one of those side paths, huh? I find it difficult to find stuff to talk about when going through a dungeon. Thankfully, I found the midpoint. According to Lapras, the old ruins lie beyond this dungeon. That's where we should find the Rainbow Stone Ship. If we find the Rainbow Stone Ship, we'll take that to Temporal Tower. Hidden Highland, first floor. More hail! Okay. Now it's really just me trying to get through to... That. So lock on specs. Increases throwing accuracy. Not too bad. Especially when paired with... Okay, some food items went bad. Uh, what went bad? Oh, the only food item I had. Ah! Okay, pure seed, so I can use that on, say, a floor with hail. To just immediately go to the exit. But if the game's content with just, uh... Giving me this. I don't mind. Oh. Oh yeah, flying type. I'm sorry, a bastardon picked up my stuff. So I'm gonna ban decoy orb. Okay, hold on. I need to go punch a gas uh, bastion on. Where are you? Mine. And the only reason I did that was one, more fights to gain experience, and two, uh, orange gummy. Even if I'm not going to put it into a shake, because honestly, I'm at the stage of the game where, like, I am running at the end game. Yeah, poison jab, why not? So, in running towards the end game, I won't be able to really use gummies to increase my IQ besides just eating them, even though the drinks are better. Whoops. There we are. 38. Yeah, usually if you are kind of reliably fighting things, your team should level up and be at least one level over the dungeon or one level on point for the recommended level. Still saving that pure seed for when things get... Uh More hail. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm out of brick break, so instead you get force palm. So ground. Have myself eat it. Seems to someone seems to dislike the gummy. Defense went up by one. 
Yeah, that's the main reason you go with the Spinda Cafe. You will almost always be guaranteed. The stat boost. Okay, deep breather. Gotcha. What do? When it reaches a new floor, the Pokemon breathes deeply, which like I want. I want. Horse, please teach me this amazing ability of deep breathing. That way I can become a JoJo protagonist. This is exactly why. So, deep breathing is the exact reason why you take the time to give your Pokemon team members more IQ ups. Confers mini counter, deals damage and steals item. Oh yeah, a mug orb has something very specific to it. I want to save those... So, just swap that. All right, then. That was disappointing. Forrest, you truly are the pro tag of this. Like, I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't expecting things to go that way. Honestly, I am not surprised you are even greater than I am. 